I'm really concerned that we have to live here, and we're not sure at this point what to do about this mold. Tara Pardis has a potentially scary problem on her hands. As you can see, the mold is mostly around these nail holes, just black, and it does seem to be spreading even in the cold weather. My husband has allergies, and occasionally the children get headaches, and it makes us wonder, is it from the mold? It could be. At first, Tara had white mold, found it in her attic because of a leaky roof. She chemically treated the area, and still, more mold came back. This time, black mold. The scientific name is stechybotrys. Now, all molds produce allergens, which are substances that can cause allergic reactions, and the symptoms can be serious. Asthma or breathing problems, people are short of breath, wheeze, or complain that their chest is tight. Uh, sinus problems are very, very common. People have nasal congestion. Uh, they have headaches all the time. Mold exposure can also irritate the eyes, skin, nose, and throat, and even the lungs of both mold allergic and non-allergic people. But stachybotrys, it's no ordinary mold. It also produces compounds called mycotoxins. These mycotoxins can cause autoimmune and nervous system diseases. When he heard that my daughter had asthma and my husband for the first time ever was on an inhaler, our insurance company said that we should leave the house. <coughs> Joanne Haggerty could tell Tara what happens when black mold goes unchecked. In February, I started to smell a very um, damp, sweet, unusual smell. It sort of started right over here and the paneling came up to about here and we removed the paneling and realized that the black mold was all across this entire wall. The minute we moved, removed the paneling, the smell was just would have knocked you over. It was horrible. Fortunately, insurance paid for the mold removal and home repair by professionals specializing in the problem, but it took a month. Now, there's one key fact about mold. None of them will grow without water or moisture. Removing the source of the moisture is key, and using building materials that prevent the moisture from returning is recommended. At this point, we're just kind of living with it. The fact is, getting rid of it can change the health of the entire household. My daughter has been better. My husband isn't on an inhaler anymore. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.